just um, the information integration theory. <laughs> How I am processing data that I consume through my window to the world, my uh, electronic device, my laptop, the internet. I saw a Twitter post. Twitter is so full of garbage, but there's also gold in the gravel. Just like the rest of the social media sites, there's so much pure social engineering and propaganda and bleh. But I made an observation I have not made yet. Um, so when I'm on alt-right websites, a lot of the... Uh, white supremacists were, um, you know, there's a big black on white crime accounts that keep track of these things because the media manipulates statistics and doesn't report these trends accurately and objectively and without bias. So there was a woman in Florida, I think she was a substitute, and she got beaten by a black horrible, horrible video. There's a bunch of white people there. It didn't even help this woman. They, they kind of like, oh, but, uh, they didn't actually physically intervene to prevent her from, you know, being assaulted so long. I, I imagine the timer goes over 30 seconds, at least for like a minute, a minute and a half, if not longer, um, with people trying to stop this guy, but they can't. There's even a white guy, a male, who is slowly walking, he's slow to react. As this guy's like, boom, 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 like five to ten punches per second into this tiny little woman's head and her face. And this is Black Lives Matter, right? It is right. Um, but when I saw, because I saw that a while ago, and that's, a, you know, commonly cited as evidence to legitimize racism, that anti-black racism would have saved that woman from being beaten so horribly and saved so many other victims of black crime, segregation laws, etc. Well, today I figured out the woman wasn't really white. She was Jewish. Her name is Nadish, and I, I never noticed her name before, so I thought, wait a minute. Nadish? Sounds very Hebrew. I googled family meaning origin, and yeah, she's Jewish. So if the Jews are behind everything, then why are they allowing these Jews to get beaten in the streets by pro-Palestinian movements, blacks, whites, etc.? It doesn't seem like the Jews running the world that they're allowing and also causing that sort of thing to happen. Now you could ask, what do you mean, causing that sort of thing to happen? Media incites violence from blacks against whites. And in a lot of cases, blacks can't tell the difference between a white person and a Jewish person. Ashkenazi Jews, specifically white Jews. There was a white Israeli woman who was gang raped in one of the South African riots because they mistook her for a white etc, etc, etc. Uh, there was a Holocaust survivor in France who was murdered by a black uh, African immigrant and his defense was cannabis-induced psychosis. So he escaped legal consequences and went into a mental health care facility even though he had no history of mental illness. So when I get a lot of the liars, these aggressive liars who say, oh, marijuana only causes psychosis, if you have a genetic predisposition. I forget the guy's name, Kaviai Triabori or something. That Muslim black African immigrant did not have a genetic predisposition. And the courts of France still said cannabis-induced psychosis was a legitimate legal defense and put him in a mental health care facility where he's still allowed to smoke cannabis. So, I don't think it's the Jews. I mean, that was a Jewish woman that was murdered 
So if the Jews are behind immigration, behind Muslim immigration, behind, you know, Black Lives Matter, and just flooding white countries with blacks and Muslims, etc., then this doesn't seem very uh, feasible to me because Jews are being victimized by these things as well as anyone else who's good and, you know, decent and moral in this moral world. <laughs> but that is a symptom of corruption of the deep state, the CIA, the government, the people who are responsible for policies on immigration, deportation, uh, cannabis legislation, right? Because clearly legalizing marijuana is causing those incidents and causing them to increase. The guy's legal defense was cannabis-induced psychosis, so you can't tell me that it wasn't caused by cannabis because that's literally his defense. The weed made him do it. <sighs> oh, right, and so after consuming that data, I've also um, self-analyzed and observed that I am disheartened with school. I had this struggle, right, between Western thought and Semitic thinking. Uh, because Western thought was so pragmatic and scientific and detail-oriented, etc. But after my professors gave me very terrible grades that I did not deserve, I mean, I contacted the school and the school agreed with me. They said, oh, no, that's, that's, you're right. You should have got a higher grade. Um... <laughs> But they, they told me to contact the professor about it. So, the low scores were because of grammatical errors and, to them, spelling errors. To me, not capitalizing the C in Christian was intentional. That was not an error. There's no way Yeshua could have been Mashiach. It's, it's idol worship. It's idolatry. So, it seemed pointless to try hard only to get low scores that I don't deserve. But in, there's two courses. In the second course, I thought, well, maybe I deserved it in this course. This guy isn't woke like the uh, criminal justice professor who's pushing very aggressively uh, criminal justice reform and marijuana legalization and Black Lives Matter and just, uh, yeah. Um... But that guy gave me a 51 out of 75 for missing things that were part of the American Psychological Association standards. <sighs> I can't even remember what they were. But we're also reading his book for our course that he wrote. And the amount of spelling and grammar errors that he makes while grading me so aggressively for mine it just makes me not give a crap I emailed I screenshotted the things and I said wait is that spelled wrong is that supposed to be that isn't this missing this word here isn't this missing a linking verb isn't this spelled incorrectly and in every incident he said yes you're right and I said yes yeah, so not only are you making these this is already more errors than I made and you got published where I'm getting docked all kinds of points but this got this slipped past your editor and he said well that book's being revised right now so I'm gonna get bad grades for grammar and you know punctuation errors uh, APA format standard errors from a guy who is actually worse at APA formatting standards. It just makes me not really care. It's why bother, right? If I'm going to get bad grades that I do deserve, that's different. If I'm getting bad grades that I don't deserve, that's like Derek Chauvin getting prison time he doesn't deserve. <laughs> What's the point of being good and doing right if you're just going to get fucked for it? So religion comes in really handy because all that is logical, rational, reasonable, reasonable. But I'm going to continue to do what's right anyway because of Hashem. Baruch Hashem. Sorry, I'm